Well, if you tell me we have 12 values, one is a personal value and one is business value, the blue one and the white one. And with that, when you have that, we will put a shot on that, on a video, on close up, is I would say that it is one, that it's hard, two. One is really, if you tell me pick one of the 12, no matter what, I would pick never forget your roots. Why? The reason I said never forget your roots is on a good, on a bad, on a very bad, no matter what, you have to remember your roots, where you come from. What do you know? How did you get here? Where were you? Where are you going? It's your roots. What I have a clear memory of that is every time I have a challenge, my whole life, is each time I hit the wall, I go back to my roots. What is my roots? The roots where I come from, the street, Marseille, family. This is my roots. And that's key for me, to don't forget that, ever. On the fashion, each time we had a bump, and we had few during the fashion trend, the uh, economy crisis, 9-11, uh, 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 crisis of 2001 with the tech bubble, then, the, the, then you had the crisis of 2008, I mean, we had so many. And of course, the crash of 1987 of the stock market. Each time of that, we went back to our roots. What is our roots? We understand fashion, we understand denim, we understand jeans, we understand image. And if you stay focused, if you stay where you are, you stay who you are, and it's clear, it's clear where your roots are, not for me, but for you, that will save you of making wrong decisions. When I say wrong decisions is when you are in a difficult time, what do you do? Sometimes you overreact. Sometimes you don't think through. And sometimes you make decisions by listening left and right. Anybody who is whispering in your ears, oh, you should do this, oh, you should do that. Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Your instinct and your roots always prevail to tell you to make the right decision. So if you have a strong instinct, follow it. If you have strong roots, stay to it and stick to it. So that's why if you tell me which one, and, and the second one who goes with that for me, besides never forget your roots, is attitude. I always believe that attitude is 60%, 70% of the solution of your problems. And you can come up with any challenges. If you're in a wrong state of mind, that problem is amplified by 10. If you're in the right state of mind and said, okay, let's analyze what is a problem. What is a challenge? What I'm going to do? What help I can get? Where should I go? How? Where? Well, already you have a good attitude that you want to resolve that problem. That's the key. Okay. And that is all attitude, which is number one rule of guest business. The number two rule is common sense. But go back to your question is one and one. Attitude, never forget your roots. What makes the work experience in guests so special? And what allows anyone who works in guests to feel part of a big family? Well, what... I think the most obvious answer to that is over the years, over the decades, so many people after six years, eight years, 10 years, they leave, they want to do something else and they want to have new experience and I always tell them, please go because you need to know what is out there outside the world of gas to understand what gas is. And if you find happiness in a new job, and new scale and new opportunities, that was meant to be. That's part of a rule, and it's right here. And it's number four. I'm sorry, number three is destiny. 
If it's meant to be, maybe you find a new job who will be incredible for you, and it was meant to be that you come at gas and got that job and then got to another position, another brand, another company, maybe not related to even fashion. I mean, one, what I can think about right away, a guy worked with me for like, I don't know, 12 years maybe, as an architect and all that, after 12 years got recruited by SpaceX, SpaceX, Elon Musk. I said, run, go today, take the job. And of course he took the job and he's so happy. But that's how the connection came from that to this. I was so excited. I am still excited about that. I mean, so it's an honor for us. But uh, at least what is really making special is so many people, so many over the time, including Europe, but especially in America, because America was where we started, always want to come back to work at Guess after five years, six years, seven years to say, can I come back? I would love to come back. Why? I miss I miss guests. I miss the family of guests. Where do you hear that? Where? Where do you hear that? I don't hear it on any company. And it's very unusual. I mean, today we had, well, in February 16, I think, 17, we had like maybe 12 models working on presentation for all the buyers, the merchant, the planners and all that. And you see them acting and they are like one family. They are together during the break, during the lunch, laughing after dinner. I mean, they're like one. That's not usual. Any model who works, normally they get a job, get in, do the job, get out, and go away. Not here. Not here. Then there was a birthday between the models today. I mean, they were celebrating. And you see that it's genuine. You see that it's special. You see that it's real. That is a key. But it goes beyond that. When a person has a challenge, a family problem, family issues, it becomes the whole company problem, the whole company issue, because we are here. Again, it's not normal, but this is what we have. So where that come from? You go back to the roots. Where are the roots? My mom. We go back to my mother. Because the only thing she taught us all her life was family, family, family. Always to say this is the most important thing in your life that you will have is family. Your job is a job, but end of the day, it's your family who matters. And with my brothers and me, I think that what we, we did has been really to create a family and an atmosphere and a feeling that when you come in the morning, you find your brother like I am with Carlos or your sister when you have, for example, if it's uh, Rene working with Susan or if it's Maria working with Lee, they are like sisters. But they are working together for like 15 years, 16 years, 20 years. So how you don't become a family? You are family because end of the day, when you are from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day, you spend more time with these persons than with your own family. Because at home, you go, you take care about your kids, your husband, you cook, you clean, and you go to sleep. But it's not eight hours. It's not. Because during the time, you sleep. So think about that. And the active hours you have in your day end up to be with people that you develop relationship, you develop and share all your personal stories of your family, your husband, your children, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, everything, everything. But it's the same in if you go to production building. It's the same if you go to the studio where we shoot every day. It's the same if you go to the advertising marketing area. <clears throat> it's everywhere in a company. It's unique. What are the shared value in the guest family and how important are these in everyone's life? <clears throat> the personal value is a white one here. It's only six things. But on these six things, I could talk to you 
an hour on each, maybe two hours on each. Why? Because it's simple things. I mean, the first one is believe. And believe is so important on anything you do every day. But you can expand that again, not on need for your work to believe on what you do, but you can expand that on believe in yourself about your friends, about your kids, I have four kids, about your husband, your wife, your parents, your brother, your sister, to believe, but also to believe also that you always make the right decision on anything you do. And that is not easy, but you have to have the belief. And you make good decision and you make bad decision, but you make decisions. You don't stand still, you have to make decisions. The number two is of hope. hope. We all go through tough time, good time, bad time, work, not work. Uh, name it, I mean, financial issues, personal issues, you always want to have the hope that things will get better. Because we guess went up and down and up and down, but we never, never stop ever to believe. Never. And we always had that hope that you don't give up. Even when it's difficult, you keep going, and you keep going. You have a tough day, it's okay. Wait the next day, the next day would be better, but it's not. So, wait the next day. It's not, okay, wait the next day. But you keep your hope that you don't give up. It's too easy to give up, you just go. Then you have destiny, I will talk to you another time about destiny because I truly believe in destiny. Then you have trust, which is key, trust is key about the team you have around you, that they have to trust you. You have to trust them. You have to know that they do the right thing. They have to know that you do the right thing too for them, and this is one. And when they feel that this is one, when you establish that trust, it's it. It's it. You don't have to worry anymore, okay? And then, what I talked to you before was never forget your roots. Everything I know, was never from school. Everything I know is from the street. Everything I know is from my mom. Everything I know is from learning from my brothers, many boys, about things that he literally, I mean, gave me a lot of wisdom because I'm pretty impulsive on everything I do, but he's much more calm than me, much more balanced than me. But we do a good combination. But it's, it's really, uh, Trust. Trust is everything. And then after that, you have respect. And the respect, when I put this fact at the end of the card here, is respect others. That is so simple, but it's complicated. It's simple because it should be so obvious that you have to respect everybody. And when I say everybody, is everybody. From up to down, left to right. It doesn't matter who you are, what you do, what you have done, and where you go. The respect should be the same. Doesn't matter. And that's what my mom always taught us to all my brothers and my sister. Respect everybody all the time. But it's so basic. But when your mom repeat to you that every day, when I was little, seven, eight, nine, going to get the bread, going to get the newspapers for my dad, going to the... The, 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 the grocery store. When you walk in, say hello and look at them in the eyes. When you walk out, say goodbye, thank you. Wow, that's difficult. No, it's not. But when you hear that every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, well, guess what? You tell that to your kids, the day you have kids, which I have, and I tell them to be polite and respectful costs nothing. That's what my mom was telling me. That is an important one. That is something to remember. Successful, not successful, money, no money, doesn't matter anything. Respect and be polite and listen. Listen. It's so important to listen. 